now support National's policy. Question number five, Melissa Lee. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Social Development and asks what reports has she received on the progress of the government's welfare reform to date? Um, Mr. Speaker, Mr Speaker, we are seeing more people coming off benefits as a result of the government's support efforts to support more people off welfare and into work. Benefit numbers are at the lowest they have been since 2008. In the September quarter, the number of New Zealanders on benefits fell by 5,388 people to just over 304,000, which is a third straight quarterly drop. A year ago, there were almost 321,000 New Zealanders on benefits. This has fallen by 16,500 people um, since September 2012. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How is the government's new work bonus payment supporting people to transition into work? Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula uh, Mr Speaker, the new work bonus payment allows those that are not work tested who go off benefit and into work to keep their benefit um, reducing by $100 a week. Um, so in just six weeks since the new work bonus policy was introduced, 706 people have come off benefit into work seeking out and landing jobs, even though they have no requirement to work. As I said, this means that they can keep their benefit for longer and it's easier for them to transition to a wage. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How are the changes making a difference for people in the regions? Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula uh, Mr Speaker, we have seen significant drops over the last year, and in particular for sole parents for the Bay of Plenty, that is down by 524, and Canterbury down by 721, and Central down by 500, Waikato 689, and Auckland down by nearly 3,000 people. Job seekers in Auckland, 4,500 people fewer. Um, Canterbury, 2,162, and for Mrs Ann Tolley in your own East coast down by 815 people. Really significant. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Sue Moroni. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. Given her assertion that 2,000 people every week have their benefits cancelled even though they have no job to go to, can she guarantee that those 2,000 people and their children are not falling further into poverty. Mr Speaker. Actually, Paula the number of people that leave for reasons other than finding work has not changed. It was the same in 2007 as it is now. What has, well, it's significant. So what we've got is people leave for reasons of uh, getting into a relationship. People change benefit categories. People go into study, so they change benefits. Those numbers actually haven't changed in the last 10 years, in the last 13 years. So they leave for many different reasons. Um, some will be for, for, as I say, for relationships and others. What has changed is the number that are leaving to go into work, and as I have expressed, that's gone up. Point of order, Sue Moroni. Mr Speaker, my question was very straightforward. I asked for a guarantee order, about order, people. Order, uh, there, she didn't order, answer my question. Order. I'm sorry. I apologise to the member. I was concentrating on another matter. I didn't hear the question to know whether it's addressed. I invite the member to ask the question. Thank you. Order. To the Minister, given her assertion that 2,000 people every week have their benefits cancelled even though they have no job to go to, can she guarantee that those 2,000 people and their children are not falling further into poverty. Mr Speaker, Honourable Paula Mr. Bitt. Speaker, the assertion of the question is that we cancel 2,000 benefits each week. Those people cancel them themselves, right? So they say, we no longer require a benefit because we are in a relationship, because we've gone into study, because we've transferred to another benefit. This may help the member. Since welfare reforms, 37% are cancelling into work, compared to just 30% in 2007. Question. Order. Order. Question number six. Honourable Damien O'Connor. Uh, thank, thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Order.